You get an amazing plate of food from your favorite restaurant, but ever wonder what's been on top of that plate before you got your meal? Tonight, a restaurant written up for some of the same violations over and over. 10 News reporter Bo Zimmer takes you to Sushi Spice on Starkey Road in Seminole. It's tonight's restaurant red alert, repeat offender. Jennifer Milliken loves trying new restaurants, but not this one. I heard that they were closed due to a health inspection issue, so I was like, yeah. Not She's right. Seminole Sushi Spice shut down as an emergency closure January 29th with 17 violations, food stored on the floor, temperature violations, and dead roaches inside a storage area on the cook line. The inspector also reporting rodent droppings under the dish machine, around the beverage area, behind cooking equipment, on a shelf under the sushi cooler even inside the employee restroom. I wouldn't go there. I wouldn't try it. Yeah, it's too scary. The restaurant shut down again February 12th with 14 violations. Chicken nuggets and fritters stored on the floor. Clean dishes not inverted. Even a live rodent reported by the inspector near the walk-in cooler. They wrote up the restaurant for more rodent droppings on the dry storage shelves under the dishwashing area and around the sushi bar. So are all the problems cleaned up? 10 News stopping in to find out. Hi there. Hi there, how are you? We reached the restaurant's owner by phone who said all the violations are now corrected. He told us he had no interest in allowing our camera into the kitchen, then hung up. But this employee who identified herself as the person in charge offered us a tour. So this is where the kitchen magic happens here. Right off the bat, we started seeing positive signs like soap and paper towels at all the employee hand washing sinks. We also checked out the walk-in cooler. So everything in here is up six inches off the floor. Everything is covered. But we also started spotting problems like this raw beef stored directly over the glass noodles. We also found those dishes still stored incorrectly. Just be careful of putting any personal items up here on the plates like that. So like uh, phone chargers and pens. We don't know where those have been. Even worse, take a look right under the dishwashing area. So these are all little rodent droppings down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bunch of them down there. They come from this hole, you the know? employee says every night she covers up the drain to keep rodents out and insists the restaurant will now call the building's landlord to have pest control return. Yeah, very important because we sell the food, we need to be clean. We showed our video to Jennifer, who wasn't too happy. Uh, seeing that after the owner says everything is cleaned up, you've got nothing to worry about, mm -hmm. what's your reaction? It's disgusting. <laughs> I, I, I mean, usually people try to spruce things up after something like that happens. I, I would never go back there. I would never go there. We checked in with Larry Payne, the owner of Sushi Spice, to see if he wanted to respond to Bo's findings from last night. He told us he has nothing to say. If you'd like to see this restaurant's complete inspection history, we've posted a link to all of the inspection reports for that restaurant at WTSP.com slash Red alert.